What's going on everybody, the Jedi Joe here, and welcome back to the channel. We got another awesome Falcon and Winter Soldier this week, so let's get right to it. The episode starts with a flashback to six years ago in Wakanda. We see Io of the Dora Milaje and Bucky as she helps him get over his mental murder training triggers, so these two have a past. Back in the present, she tells him he has eight hours till they come for Zemo. Speaking of Zemo, we got a lot more mind games from him in this one. Turkish delights, candy to the kids, secrets, and he manages to escape by the end of it. Apparently Disney uploaded the remainder of the cut dance footage from last week's episode, but don't be tricked. Just a one hour loop. Don't sit there and then realize it after like 40 minutes like I did. Tension is also rising between Bucky and Zemo, so I predict that maybe Bucky's going to lose control by the end of this, so no Turkish delights for him. Seems like Sharon Carter isn't done with the series as of yet, and she has a bit of a squad with her now, too. We see Carly, aka Flag Smasher, a bunch in this episode. I think I fell for her this week. The small, cute, freckled English girl who can kick everyone's ass. Her performance has been solid throughout the series thus far, and you can really get behind her reasoning of why she kills all these innocent people. John Walker has to stick in his impatient ass into this moment and screw everything up. God, Wyatt Russell plays the dumb boss role so well. I'm in charge, you listen to me, and then have everything blow up in his face. He also played a great idiot in an episode of Black Mirror. Go check it out. Later on, Zemo must kills Carly and destroys all the super soldier serum. Whoops, missed one. The Dormelages show up and embarrass everyone at once, and Walker decides to take some performance enhancing drugs after. Carly decides to make it personal and threatens Sam's family, and also kills Battlestar to boot. Walker goes into a super soldier rage and kills one of the flag smashers, as everyone posted on TikTok. The whole world is watching. So where is this going? Will Walker face the music? Or will the government try to spin it and say he was right for killing this guy? When will Zemo show up? And who is the rumored surprise? Is it the Shadow Broker? No more surprises. Forget, forget I mentioned it. I refuse, but now it's in my head, and now I can't forget it. It's WandaVision all over again. I give the episode an 8.5 out of 10. A lot developed in this episode, and it was slow, but made up for it at the end. The series has been very dialogue heavy in longer run times, but it's a shorter season, so it makes sense. This is just another MCU slow burn. Keep an eye out for another video that I might post before next week's review. But till then, I'll see you next time.